Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what I'd like to do in this video is share a technique in which you can perform one profile operation and profile different contours at different Z levels all within one command. This example, you can see we have a solid model, and I've got this light blue geometry created where I'd like to perform some profiling. And you'll notice those are all at different Z levels. Well, typically to do that, you would head over to the stock toolpaths and you would use one of our profile operations. But instead, what you can use is you can use the corner rounding operation. The corner rounding machining operation has many similar attributes as profiling, yet also provides the added extra benefit of being able to select geometry at different Z levels. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to select corner rounding. I want to climb cut down here, so I'm going to left click left click the outside arrow and then hit the F3 key on the keyboard. I'm going to now left click, left click this arrow, F3, and then I want to profile this upper Z level as well. So I'm going to left click, left click the outside arrow and hit the F3 key on the keyboard. Now with all that geometry selected at different Z levels, we're just going to right hand mouse click. And within the select tool dialog box, instead of selecting corner round, we just select an end mill. And just an extra side tip, when you expand this and you see all of these tools that are grayed out, that simply means that 1CNC doesn't suggest we use those for corner rounding, it's going to default to rounding and that's why that one's ungrayed. But just because these are grayed out doesn't mean that you can't use them. So I'm going to use end mill got turret position. I'm going to say the speeds and feeds are okay using a half inch diameter end mill. I'll click next. Our clearance values look fine. We'll click next on that. Now you do want to make sure that you've got number one selected for the geometry position. You've got one or two. Make sure you have one selected outside edge zero and zero. Click next on that. And then just like with profiling, we can arc in, arc off. Now that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm arcing on at 45 degrees and arcing off at the same value. Let's click finish and let 1CNC generate the toolpath. And there we go. Let's quickly take this into preview. I'm going to right hand mouse click, select preview toolpaths. And here we go. You can see we're profiling the bottom. We're arcing on. I'm going to profile all the way around. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. Now we're going to pull up in Z, climb cut, pull up in Z, and climb cut as well. So with this technique, you can profile many different Z levels using one profile operation. And don't forget, you can always rename your machining operations by double clicking. And then here within the NC processing dialog box, you could just delete that and type in something like multi-level profile. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.